और अब बारी आती है प्रथम स्थान की और प्रथम स्थान पर रहे यतिन भास्कर दुग्गल फ्रॉम हरियाणा This is the same place where once Dr. Ambedkar stood and leaded the constitutional debates. I would like to thank the Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan as well as the Ministry of Youth and Affairs for helping and helping a young boy from Haryana to come to this magnificent Central Hall of Parliament and share my views. I'll start. घर सजाने का तस्वूर रखते हो आओ पहले इस घर की मजबूत नींव रखी जाए. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and we have come a long way as a civilization, from Rig Veda and Samved to the longest written constitution of the world, from building Pushpak Vimans 4,000 years ago to building Miraj and Tejas today, from worshiping Moon and Mars to today going to Moon and Mars through Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan. We have come a long way as a civilization. Today, when I look at this topic, I see three aspects. What is a sustainable future for me? What is the role of youth, and how can we connect both of these together? Ecologically, ladies and gentlemen, the West has just started to learn the concept of living in harmony with nature. But as a civilization, we have been worshiping trees and eating on banana leaves for centuries. Today, as young people, it is important for us to take small, small steps. For example, we. Today, as youngsters, when rather than buying a 2,500 cc bike, we buy a 2,500 rupees bicycle for a local travel. When you put that piece of plastic in the drain, and when as a civilization we understand the concept that nature has enough for your need but not for your greed, will lead to an ecologically sustained nation. And when we have the resources, will lead towards a sustainable society, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we need to build a society that is sustainable and inclusive. It, in, it should include the doctors, it should include the soldiers, as well as the sweepers who clean the nation. Today, as we have surpassed China in terms of population, it becomes inevitable that we make educational and health infrastructure to sustain that population. And I would like to ask the youth of this nation, in order to become socially sustainable, we need to enforce and increase our employment avenues why should as young people we should only dream about becoming ias officers doctors and engineers in this nation of mahatma gandhi and vocational education why cannot i dream a nation in which through vocational education a young dalit boy from gujarat becomes the leading shoe maker of the world why cannot i dream of a nation when a barber from tamil nadu becomes the hair stylist of a sustainable economy green gdp sustainable development and when the youth of this nation rather than feeling proud about sundar pichai being the ceo of google and satya nadella leading apple will build our own google our own facebook in this nation that day will become technologically sustainable but ladies and gentlemen all these three avenues are incomplete without a political structure that's unsustainable that is why i believe that today along with national youth parliament we also need youth in the parliament to provide educational avenues and even innovative policies for our youth i believe that today as we have a indian administrative services for our bureaucracy we need to have a indian political service for our politicians so that they can be sustained and engrossed with policy making and good policies can be converted and transferred from one government to another irrespective of their political policies but and i say this but in capital letters ladies and gentlemen irrespective of what society culture ecology we have if our youth does not have the educational wisdom to use this potential we cannot lead to a sustainable future today i live in a nation unfortunately ladies and gentlemen where a cigarette which can kill you is sold openly but when a girl has to buy sanitary pads she has to hide them in black polythenes today i live in a nation where it's been 77 years since the white man has left left this nation but we are still living in that inferiority complex using fairness creams to whiten our skin whiten our culture whiten our education whiten our standard of life in the era of globalization we need to understand as young people that i can wear american shirt and a polish pant 
and a German watch. But my identity, which is going to be decided by the education structure I've been part of, has to stay Indian, ladies and gentlemen. And by inculcating all these avenues, when we will have a society that has educated individuals, but that needs to be added with another important point, and that is mental health should become an important part of our curriculum. Dear politicians, dear students, dear judges, today in this era of social media, where we feel more connected than ever, we have become most isolated. The 30 gram brain of yours has far more debilitating power than any nuclear weapons around the world. So mental health should become an important part of our curriculum. And when the, we take care of all these avenues, will lead to a nation that is socially sustainable, economically sustainable, politically sustainable, and has the youth that has the educational wisdom and the mental health ability to lead this nation towards a sustainable future. And why do we need to care about this planet, sir? Because 40 years ago, Carl Sagan pointed out to a pale blue dot in the sky. That pale blue dot, that is Earth. That is home. That is where everyone that you have loved or will loved has left. That is where Leonardo da Vinci dreamed about Mona Lisa. That is where man dreamed about stepping onto the moon. That is where Buddha gave his sermon. And Ram went on a 14-year journey, I believe, from dusk to dawn, this Earth is, is all we own. Let's protect it as if it's our own. And to conclude, this sustainable future is incomplete without the efforts of 1.45 billion Indians. As Dr. Abdul Kalam once rightly articulated, that great nations are not made by handsome people, but by those who can give their hands to some who require that. Thank you. Jai Hind.